But anyway, continuing on with the uh, next issue. New York Attorney General says governor may be undercounting COVID-19 nursing home deaths by 50%. You know, when I said... When I compared his leadership to China, I didn't realize how on the mark I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Maybe, maybe, not not to that, maybe not to China's extent, but still, there's so many parallels. <laughs> yep. A new report released by the New York Attorney General suggests that the Cuomo administration has been undercounting the number of nursing home deaths related to COVID-19. The report states that preliminary data based on an investigation of 62 nursing homes suggests that COVID-19 resident deaths associated with nursing homes in New York State appear to be undercounted by the Department of Health by approximately 50 percent. The New York Department of Health has been accused of undercounting the number of COVID-19 nursing home deaths uh, because the DOH only counted deaths that occurred in nursing homes and excluded the deaths of residents who were transferred to a hospital. That's some bullshit. That's that's some bullshit. The, that that that's Cuomo some, is disgusting. Uh, he yeah. he is absolutely despicable. The, okay, okay, those people who die in the hospital, it is still by fucking resort or result, excuse me, of Cuomo's fuck stick actions of just way he's transferring the elderly between nursing home and nursing home. It doesn't matter if they died in a nursing home or in a hospital. If they contracted the disease because of Cuomo transferring them from nursing home to nursing home, it's it still counts. Or it should count anyways. Fucking idiotic. Yeah. Yep. According to the Attorney General report, preliminary data obtained by the Office of Attorney General suggests that many nursing home residents died from COVID-19 in hospitals after being transferred from their nursing homes, which is not reflected in DOH published total nursing home death data. Of the 62 nursing homes examined by the Attorney General, 55 nursing homes had discrepancies in their data. The Department of Health reported 1,229 COVID-19 deaths related to those facilities, but the Attorney General found 1,914, a difference of 55%. Governor Andrew Cuomo has also faced stiff criticism for his handling of nursing homes during the coronavirus pandemic after his office office, excuse me, issued an executive order in March 2020 requiring nursing homes to accept residents who had been discharged from the hospital after being hospitalized for COVID-19. Perhaps they still had traces of COVID-19 in their system. And so therefore they spread it to all the more healthier elderly folk. And that just, you know, inflates the stats as far as cases go and COVID-19 deaths as well. Critics contend this uh, put other nursing at home residents at risk for the virus. The Department of Health has pushed back on this, releasing a report in July claiming that residents sent back to nursing homes were no longer contagious. Uh, bullshit. Yeah. Um, that is some bullshit right there. So uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Ah, all right. Absolute degenerate in the chat. I'm not surprised by that in the slightest. Cuomo is a complete basket case. Indeed. Indeed. But maybe his brother can interview him on uh, CNN and they can straighten things out. Yeah. It, 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 it's, a, it, it, it's a dynasty. It's a political dynasty is what it is. That is what, that is what it is right there. Shows how I mean, many, the, it shows how America is a ruling class that uh, that's from Wall Street, from the from the major news media, and in poli in politics. The how it Cuomo, all works together. The Cuomo. There's no more naked example of that than uh, than Andrew Cuomo being interviewed in CNN by his own brother. Just for him to suck his dick. <laughs> Hey, uh, incest is wrong. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> or everyone everyone agree uh, agrees to it, which means I won the debate. <laughs> I love that you made that reference to Longmouth. I love you, man. <laughs> uh, straighten things out more like damage control for Andrew. LOL says uh, absolute degenerate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I, I mean, looking at this, okay. I go on a whole lot about how that all the pro lockdown advocates, they like to downplay the, you know, the, the violation of liberties, uh, in, in regards of what is happening in the lockdowns of their, and their advocacy of the lockdowns and so forth. Like, not only is there just a damaging of our liberties, but apparently the lockdowns are, ironically enough, causing their own damage to as far as people dying and so forth, as well as damaging people's liberties. So lockdown advocates, it's kind of working against, uh, you know, the, the anti-lockdown people in both ways, not just one way. <sighs> I mean, you, you want to talk about deaths, lockdown advocates. Take a look at this shit. Not only do you have Andrew Cuomo being a big old scumbag with his lockdown advocacy and, act, and you know, legislative actions in regards of the lockdown and whatnot, but you also have children who are, who are starving because their, their, excuse me, their parents cannot any longer work or at least uh, projected to starve anyways, an article that I read uh, months back anyways. And uh, also the, the rising poverty overseas as well in third world countries. Now, granted, they do not have as much of a, uh, a sophisticated welfare program, which you could argue if you're going to be like a, a pragmatist or utilitarian or whatever, that, yeah, that this is evidence that they need a more sophisticated welfare system. But it's better that they be working and feeding themselves than for them to not be working at all and unable to feed themselves with whether or not the welfare system exists. I mean, yeah. It's just utterly ridiculous, the world we live in. Oh, hey, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you see in here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below, please. If you want to see more content like this, this video is actually just a mere clip from a full live stream episode of my political show, Strike Force. Link down below for the full stream. Go check that out and also subscribe and set the bell notification button to all to keep notified of this channel. I also have a BitChute channel under the same name, The Dark Conservatarian, and a Twitter and subscribe star that may or may not be approved of yet. Links for those two as well in the description box. Hope to see you all later. Good day and God bless.